Ever wondered why some women struggle with irregular periods, weight gain, or even hair loss? Could it be polycystic ovary syndrome? Welcome, friends, to a journey of understanding and demystifying a condition that affects many women worldwide. Polycystic ovary syndrome, or as it's commonly known, PCOS. A health puzzle that's as common as it is misunderstood. Now, imagine a condition so sneaky, it often goes undiagnosed. That's PCOS for you. It creeps in silently, impacting health and quality of life, often without a clear cause. PCOS is a bit like a chameleon, blending into the background, often mistaken for other health issues. It's a complex condition that can affect women's health in many ways, from fertility issues to metabolic complications. But here's the thing, knowledge is power. Understanding PCOS, its signs and potential impacts can be a game changer. So buckle up for an insightful journey into the world of PCOS. Stay tuned as we dive into the world of PCOS, its symptoms and much more. PCOS is a bit of a chameleon, presenting a wide range of symptoms that can often be mistaken for other conditions. This complex health issue can manifest differently from person to person, making it a bit tricky to identify. However, by understanding the key symptoms, we can begin to unravel the mystery of polycystic ovary syndrome. Let's start with irregular periods, one of the most common signs of PCOS. In a typical menstrual cycle, an egg is released from the ovaries each month. But with PCOS, this process can be disrupted, resulting in fewer periods than normal. Some women may experience fewer than eight menstrual cycles a year, while others might not menstruate at all. Next, we have excess androgen. Androgens are often dubbed male hormones, but they're found in both men and women. With PCOS, the ovaries may produce higher levels of these hormones, leading to physical signs such as excessive facial and body hair, often on the chest, back or buttocks. This condition, known as hirsutism, affects up to 70% of women with PCOS. Alongside this, another symptom is acne. Excess androgen can also lead to oilier skin, which in turn can cause stubborn acne that's resistant to typical treatments. This acne often presents itself not just on the face, but also on the chest and upper back. The term polycystic ovaries might sound alarming, but it simply means that the ovaries are larger than normal and contain follicles, small fluid-filled sacs surrounding the eggs. These follicles may cause the ovaries to fail to regularly release eggs, contributing to fertility issues. One of the most challenging symptoms of PCOS is weight gain. Many women with PCOS struggle with maintaining a healthy weight, and this isn't just a cosmetic issue. Being overweight can exacerbate other symptoms of PCOS and increase the risk of developing other health problems such as type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Lastly, let's touch on hair growth, or rather hair loss. While excess hair can grow in places you don't want it, the hair on your head may start to thin and fall out. This symptom, known as female pattern baldness, can be particularly distressing. Each of these symptoms alone might not raise a red flag, but together, they can point towards PCOS. It's important to remember, though, that having one or more of these symptoms doesn't necessarily mean you have PCOS. Many other conditions can cause similar symptoms, so it's crucial to seek medical advice if you're experiencing any of these signs. Understanding these symptoms is the first step towards getting a diagnosis and ultimately the right treatment. Recognizing the signs of PCOS is just the beginning. With the right knowledge and medical support, you can navigate your way towards managing this complex condition. The symptoms of PCOS are more than skin deep. There are unseen aspects that can affect a woman's well-being. Polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS, is a condition that is typically associated with physical symptoms like irregular periods, weight gain and acne. But the reality is, PCOS can also take a significant emotional toll. The physical changes that come with this condition can lead to feelings of frustration, embarrassment and even depression. It's like an iceberg. What's visible on the surface is just a small fraction of what's really going on underneath. The emotional toll of PCOS is often exacerbated by the fear and uncertainty that comes with potential infertility. Many women with PCOS struggle to conceive and this can lead to feelings of sadness, anxiety and a sense of loss. These emotions can be overwhelming, and they can impact every aspect of a woman's life, from her relationships to her career. 
But the hidden reality of PCOS doesn't stop at emotional health. This condition also increases the risk for other serious health conditions. Women with PCOS are more likely to develop type 2 diabetes due to insulin resistance that often accompanies this syndrome. They may also face an increased risk of heart disease as PCOS can lead to high blood pressure and high cholesterol levels. And let's not forget about sleep apnea. This sleep disorder, characterized by repeated interruptions in breathing during sleep, is more common in women with PCOS. It can lead to daytime fatigue and increases the risk of heart disease and stroke. So you see, PCOS is not just about irregular periods or difficulty losing weight. It's a complex condition that can influence a woman's health in many different ways. It's not just a physical condition, it impacts mental health, emotional well-being, and increases the risk of other health conditions. PCOS is not just a physical condition, it impacts multiple aspects of a woman's health. The exact causes of PCOS remain a mystery, but experts believe several factors, including genetics, play a role. Let's delve into these potential causes, shall we? Firstly, we have high levels of insulin. Insulin is a hormone that your body uses to turn sugar from your food into energy. If you have insulin resistance, your body's cells don't respond normally to insulin, causing your insulin levels to rise. And what happens next? Your body might pump out more insulin to compensate. However, high levels of insulin can also stimulate your ovaries to produce more androgens, such as testosterone, which can interfere with the ovaries' ability to ovulate. That's one piece of the puzzle. Next, we have low-grade inflammation. This term refers to the body's immune response to a variety of factors, including diseases, toxins, and stress. Studies have suggested that women with PCOS often have low-grade inflammation, which can also stimulate the ovaries to produce androgens. It's like a domino effect. One thing leads to another, and before you know it, you're dealing with PCOS. Then there's heredity. Like many other health conditions, PCOS seems to run in families. Research suggests that certain genes might be linked to PCOS, but these genes have not been identified yet. If your mother, sister, or aunt has PCOS, your chances of having it are higher than someone who doesn't have a family history of the condition. It's like being dealt a certain hand in a game of cards. You don't get to choose your hand, but knowing what you've got helps you play it better. In the end, it's a complex interplay of several factors that contribute to PCOS. It's like a jigsaw puzzle where every piece is essential to see the whole picture. While the exact causes are still unknown, understanding the potential triggers can help manage the condition. PCOS is a complex condition with a wide range of symptoms, but understanding these can lead to early detection and management. So, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've discovered today. Polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS, is a hormonal disorder that's more common than you might think. It affects one in every 10 women of childbearing age and can have significant impacts on their health and well-being. We've delved into the many symptoms of PCOS, each as unique as the women who experience them. From irregular menstrual cycles and excessive hair growth to acne and weight gain, these symptoms are often the first red flags that something isn't right. We also discussed the more hidden signs like mood changes and sleep problems that can easily be overlooked. Then we moved on to the causes of PCOS. While the exact cause is yet to be pinned down, we know that high levels of androgens or male hormones and insulin play a significant role. Genetics and inflammation are other potential contributors, adding layers of complexity to this multifaceted condition. But it's not all gloom and doom. We also spoke about the potential for early detection and management of PCOS. A timely diagnosis can open the door to treatments that alleviate symptoms and lower the risk of long-term health issues like diabetes and heart disease. The key takeaway from our discussion is this. Knowledge is power. Understanding the symptoms and potential causes of PCOS is the first step in taking control of your health. And remember, you're not alone in this journey. There's a whole community of women out there who are navigating the same waters along with healthcare professionals dedicated to helping you every step of the way. Remember, if you or someone you know is experiencing these symptoms, it's important to seek medical advice. PCOS is a manageable condition once diagnosed. 
So let's spread the word, raise awareness, and help each other to live healthier, happier lives.